in the world of philosophy there are many, but the first two were Zhuangzi, who uh, actually wrote, uh, it's very spooky, at the same time as Aristotle, nearly exactly the same time, 2,300 years ago in China, he wrote a book called uh, Perfect Happiness. Uh, and uh, this is a, he's a very humorous, uh, self-deprecating kind of zany writer. And uh, we believe he actually had a zany life on top of that. And um, he uses humor in a, in a brilliant way to illustrate some of his points. But the point he wanted to make was that, um, you know, the, the, one of the goal of life is happiness, but we have, um, you know, we, there are two kinds of happiness and people tend to, um, to, um, you know, to, to misunderstand that there are these two kinds of happiness. The one is ha uh, the craving for material things, and another is um, a desire for uh, more internal things. And um, it's very spookily similar what he is saying to uh, what um, Aristotle is saying, as well as another Chinese thinker, Mencius. It's amazing when you look at the linkages. Um, from the other side of the world, so obviously they didn't have Facebook. So, and uh, when you look at what they're saying, and when you compare what they're saying to Seligman, it's very encouraging because you can see that there's a great deal of agreement, basic agreement, um, about these different forms of um, happiness. Um, and so that's kind of encouraging. So uh, we have a sort of meeting between science and spirituality or science and philosophy or at least some branches of philosophy.